Yeah, you know, while we humans are worrying about COVID, pet owners are worried about the canine flu. It's said to be highly contagious, and one who knows is a friend and colleague of ours. How are your dogs? One of them may not make it, and the other one is struggling. Gigi Graciette, I'm sure you recognize her from our news. Gigi found both Miss Maywood and Casper while working on news stories and took them in. She's had them for more than a decade, and now she says they're struggling from the canine flu. L.A. County Public Health says to date this is the largest outbreak of the virus known as CIV H3N2 ever reported in this county. Dog owner Greg Villa heard about it, wasn't taking any chances. Actually, I thought he was sick for a while, and I thought he had it, and so we got him vaccinated. It's a two-dose vaccine that Gigi didn't get because her dogs had underlying conditions, and they didn't go to dog parks or boarding facilities, the locations most cited for transmission. But she came to learn that the flu is airborne and can be caught on a simple walk or a visit to the vet. Casper coughs and sneezes a lot. He's got pneumonia as a result of the canine flu and has to be nebulized several times a day. And my little girl, Miss Maywood, um, who had canine influenza, it sent her into kidney failure and she may not make it. LA County Public Health says between July and October of this year, there were approximately 800 confirmed and suspected cases of the dog flu in LA County. There were seven deaths, most associated with attending boarding kennels or doggy daycares. There have also been cases connected with dog parks, groomers, and veterinary clinics. A dog can bark in his face, he can catch it. They can sniff each other, he can catch it. It is extremely contagious. Okay, what are the possible warning signs? They include coughs, runny nose, fever, lethargy, eye discharge, reduced appetite, but not all dogs will show the signs of the illness. So you can get more information from the CDC website or the website for the LA County Public Health Department. And of course, you can check in with your veterinarian to get all the information you need to know. Many of the people here at this dog park telling me their dogs have been vaccinated. We're live in Encino. I'm Hal Eisner, Fox 11 News.